I, some of you guys are going to say I'm a moron, but I think Milwaukee should make a version of their impact driver with a half-inch anvil. So today what we are going to do is we are going to test out what I modded. I modded the Milwaukee Impact Driver. I put a half inch anvil on there and I want to see what this does against the new M18 half inch stubby. But I'm wondering if you put a half inch anvil on there with that speed, it has direct power to the socket. I'm wondering if it'll keep up with the stubby or even perform better. We are going to use the Milwaukee one inch impact wrench to tighten them up. I think they're already tightened, but we'll tighten them a little bit more just in case. All right, so let's go over the specs of these really quick and see how well these actually perform against each other. All right, so let's tighten this up first. That's good. That's good. That's good. Welds are holding up, which is a good thing. That's good. That's good. That is good. And it looks like the welds are holding up. Let's see which one could bust these nuts first. I know it's not scientific, but you, you got to admit that's a lot of power on that tool. So. I'll be amazed if these could even bust it. So let's see if one of these can though. We got on speed three, battery is full. All right, ready? Go. Got it. And the weld held up pretty, pretty well. Weld held up pretty well as well. All right, let's do the, the impact driver now. This is going to be timed to the tenth of a second. So let's see what this can do. Battery is full. It is on speed three. All right, ready? Go. A lot better. That did that a lot faster. All right, so let's jump up to the next size. And just so you guys know, I did get the proper sized uh, socket with the proper size anvil to do these big ones. So that chrome socket is gone. Never be used in a video again. So I actually found one and I got it. All right, so let's jump up to the 30 millimeter. Let's see on how well this could take this out. Oh, sorry, this is this row is for the M18 stubby, the back row is for the impact driver. All right, ready? Go. Ooh. Do that again. Nope, it failed. Yep, that failed. All right, so let's see if the impact driver could take out the one that the stubby failed at. All right, ready? Go. Yes, it did. So obviously I got to get a different size of this, but the impact driver was able to do it and the uh, M18 stubby impact wrench was not. So let's uh, continue. Let's have uh, the impact driver take out its next one. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. All right, so for the last ultimate test, we have the correct size. As you guys can see, that fits on there perfectly. Just so you guys know, to get this in there easily with the friction ring, you just get it in there, then you just tap it in. All right, let's see. Uh, this is uh, one and a half or 38. Let's see what this can do. All right, ready? Go.
time. It did it. It did it. All right, that just tells me that I need to get the proper sockets for those ones. All right, let's see what the impact driver can do. Now remember, the impact wrench is supposed to be significantly stronger than the impact driver. All right, now that took a while. Both of these are on extremely tight, so ready, go. A lot faster. It did that a lot faster. Now that's a po now a, a one a one inch. 1800 foot pound impact wrench installed all of these a lot faster which that's actually extremely impressive this is a hard task this is going to stress those motors out and get them pretty hot uh, it's no longer cold in the garage so yeah these motors will be getting hot by doing this 71 for the stubby sorry i'll show you guys all right so 72 for the stubby and then what's for the impact driver? 86. 86 for the for the impact driver. All right, so like so like I said in previous videos, the impact wrench works less, but it is more powerful. The impact driver works more, but it is less powerful, but I'm proving that to be wrong when you switch out that anvil because if this was if this was a regular quarter inch hex that would not be performing like this because that every adapter that I use would break during what I just did. First we're going to do the 10 inch. Let's do the impact wrench first. Now I am doing this right here because this is a dense area so that's why I want to do it right here. Ready? Go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Time. That is time on that one. Uh, all right, we'll do this right next to it. Let's, all right, so depending on how well this does, uh, we might not do the eight inch by five eighths because this, this, that, that took a while. That took, I'm used to uh, screw drive, I'm used to hammer drills driving this in in like six to nine seconds. So that, that took a while. All right, let's see what the impact driver can do with the uh, uh, half inch anvil. Right here is good. All right, so ready. Oh, sorry, battery is full. Ready. Go. Let's do a quick, oh, I should have, it's only been about 20 seconds, so it's, it's not going to be that dramatic of a temperature difference. All right, 93, 92, right, uh, for this uh, M18 subby, 94 degrees, 
All right, so 95 degrees for the impact driver. All right, so let's take this out. Let's take these out and see uh, on how well an impact wrench does in reverse compared to an uh, impact driver. Now, ready, go. That is hot. Oh, sorry, temperature reading right now. 90 degrees, 99. I just got 99. Can't find it again, 97 degrees. 97 degrees the stubby got to. All right, so let's take out the impact drivers. Ready, go. Time. I don't know what the results are until I edit the video, but I can definitely tell you that the M18 impact driver is more powerful than the M18 stubby. All right, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I just want to show you the difference of the modded impact driver compared to the M18 stubby. In Milwaukee, you should make a half-inch anvil impact driver. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.